the bonus notches is out, yes. A disappointed uh, Blake Shin. 422 Vets Advice, bonus notches is out. 422 on Vets Advice, so we're down to six runners. Stand by for a start. All is in readiness. Starter just waiting for the word from Stewart's. I am more standing patiently. They're set. Ready. And away they go. And a beautiful line two in the small field. Uncommon James Imperatries beat them out. Not far away, I Am War on the inside and Jigsaw is forcing the issue. A length and a half, I Am Me, and last of all, a length and a quarter away, the Inferno. Imperatriz is going to do it from the front today and led by a half length, Jigsaw at the 800 metres. They're a length and a quarter, I Am War, Uncommon James. Then I Am Me on the outside of the Inferno and they're not going that hard. 7.50 out, Imperatriz, the odds on favourite, led Jigsaw by half a neck. They're a length and a half, Uncommon James, I Am War. The Inferno's trying to get off the fence, it's on the steel, and last I am me, Imperatrice now skipped, a length and a quarter, Jigsaw immediately under pressure, coming up to the turn at the 350, Uncommon James hooked to the outside from I am War, who's almost going backwards, passed by the Inferno and I am me, but Imperatrice glides around the corner, three lengths in front of Uncommon James, then I am me up the middle, but Imperatrice called upon, still three lengths in front, and the Tangerine Tsunami, He's going to do it again. Imperatrice won it well. Second, I am me. Uncommon James or the Inferno for third. A gap to I am war and Jigsaw. Well, that was a big shock. Not the fact that she won so magnificently and majestically. Four for four here. But Opie went. Look at him. He loves her, doesn't he, <laughs> Katie? He went to the front. She jumped so brilliantly. It was 100 to one her leading. No, I but... thought she'd go back to last. It was unbelievable. She's just so versatile. What a horse. She just rolled along in front. She pricked her ears. And you knew straight then and there. She did not care that she was leading. And she put them away. If you were a promoter in Australian racing, you'd put think about it against her right now. You'd want to get them together, wouldn't you? That form versus the effort. So where's the best form in the country? Think about it's beating better horses, mm. but this filly is right up there with all of them, isn't she? Yeah, she's she's a really, really special horse, this. And uh, you can see there, Opie absolutely loving her. We're waiting for Richo to grab. So I might just, Lizzie, just one quick grab. We were all struck by that. That was absolutely mind-blowing. Yeah, Emma and I were absolutely gobsmacked. An, an amazing performance from uh, Imperatriz that's head to Richo. Well, Mark Walker, congratulations. Oh, no worries, you can jump in, my friend. Give me a manhandle. Congratulations. Uh, well, first, the change in tactics. Uh, describe what were you thinking when, he, when she bounced so well? Well, that's sort of the, the genius of Opie. You know, he, he jumped so well, so why take away that advantage? And... Uh, I think she had it in the, in the bag a long way from home, really, yeah. OK, so it wasn't a surprise to you. And what were you looking for as the key factors, the fact that she was settling, even though leading? Yeah, well, when, when she sort of got there and no one sort of went up to her, I, I think Opie was probably of the opinion that someone had come round and then he'd just take the trail, but when no one did, and I didn't think he was going too hard up on the speed, he, he probably just thought, I'll just stay there. Yeah. Yeah. When you've won as many Group 1s as her, she's entitled to be called a champion. What's it like to train a champion? Well, it, it's just, you know, it's, it's great for all the ownership group. They've been so understanding about not going to Sydney and we're thinking about her longevity and uh, it, it's a big thrill. And, uh, you know, I think this mare is keeping Opie in the saddle as well and that's... And Opie's such an important part of our team as well. Yeah, he's charging towards 100 Group 1s. Mark, congratulations. That was brilliant. Thank you. There we are. We're just going to have a little trot back because she's still quite fruity. But, geez, you're making this a bit of a habit. It's a lot easier on horses like this. And she just does it for me, really. And she's, she's just something special. She is something special. She's incredible. She loves the valley. We love having you here riding her. And uh, is she the best horse you've ever ridden? She is by far. She just, I know I've said it a million times, but I've just never ridden a horse that can just switch off and then just go bang when you want to. So, um, oh, more to come, I think. And ridden on speed or ridden at the back? She can do everything. 
yeah, did, <laughs> that wasn't the plan, but we, we were there and she was doing it comfortable. So, and when she changed legs all at the right times, we had a very turn and straight. I knew we were, we were going to be hard to beat. Have a nice can of back. Well done, let that sink in. Another great one. Well done. And from Opie to Emily, oh, one of our absolute favourites. Gee, what about Opie going forward? What were you thinking? That was plan Z, I think, <laughs> of, of what we anticipated he'd do. It definitely wasn't on his agenda, I don't think. But, God, she was so electric. She just kicked away at the top of the straight, didn't she? It was, uh, it was an easy watch from my perspective. <laughs> oh, you still didn't look really, really nervous. Hey, Mark just said that this mare's keeping your husband in the saddle. Is that right? She certainly helps. I'm sure he'd admit that himself. It's just such an inspiration to have a horse like that around us. And, yeah, she's just, she loves it, doesn't she? She loves winning. She's just such a good racehorse. It's, yeah, so exciting. Well, the charge on uh, towards 100 for Opie. Hey, Bruce is listening. Just throw back to him, will you? Consummate pro. Bruce, hit, we've just won the Manicado. Back to you in the studio. <laughs> good on you, boss. Yeah, 93 Group 1. She's a proud wife and why not? And what a jockey he is. So there she is. She's a beauty. She's a champion. Great sprinter she is. Um, the invitation's next up, Aim.